Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. So this is the fruit, the dragon fruit. Now, it's actually very easy, I understood, to remove the skin. You simply hold the top, after you cut it into three quarters, you hold the top and then you bend it, basically bend it. It's very easy to remove, very, very easy, okay? It's very easy to remove. Here we go. And imagine, guys, imagine enjoying this fruit. Okay, guys, so right now we're gonna go ahead and taste the dragon fruit. The good thing is that you'll see my facial expression. I'm gonna try to move my glasses and do it without it because I want you guys to see me. Of course, the, as I said, it's very bright. Nonetheless, same thing, you peel it out. You peel it. And here it is, this beautiful, delicious looking, <laughs> delicious looking fruit. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's sour or sweet, um, but I'm going to assume maybe it's like because it's very rich in moisture and it's like a cactus. It's like aloes. Aloes is bitter. Um, I've never actually tasted um, the other type of cactus with the fronds on them, but I'm going to assume it's like a bitter sweet maybe, or it tastes like um, basically water. <laughs> Let's go ahead and taste it for the first time, guys. Wow. Okay, it's not sweet and it's not bitter. It's almost tasteless, but yet still, it's very satisfying to eat. Very satisfying. It reminds me of kiwi, guys. Seriously, it reminds me of kiwi. This is a fruit to have when you are dying of thirst. This is tasting much better than watermelon when you're thirsty. Watermelon is obviously much sweeter, but this fruit tastes actually amazing. Wow, almost, I almost feel bad for having teeth in my mouth eating this. This is so succulent and marsh, very soft. You can eat this without teeth, so this is good for elders. This fruit is actually very good for elders. My teeth almost useless eating this. Let's try something, let me try my lips without my teeth, one more. And I did not have to chew. It's very soft. I'd recommend this for elders. All they have to do when they bite it, once their tongue press up against, I'm sorry, upwards toward their, their upper jaw, or their upper mouth, or the, <laughs> the roof of their mouth, um, it will actually squish and break down and you can actually swallow it like that. It's very good. So guys, this is my first time tasting the dragon fruit and I must say it is worth having. Of course, the seeds are very small. But I'm going to try to plant them. Have you guys ever planted the dragon fruit seed before? Let me know in the comment section so I can ha know whether or not this will be successful. I feel I'm blessed enough to plant the seed and that they will grow and germinate and produce, okay? Now, before we conclude this video, I'm going to watch a short video about the dragon fruit and how it's grown. Um, but in the meantime, let's just enjoy this um, single slice and then I'll put this away and um, we'll check out the video. Mm. Very nice. I must admit, this is very nice. Mmm. Oh, the center is a bit sweeter. The center. Mmm. Guys, I want to hear this close up. I don't feel hear it. ASMR style. Hear this. It's so rich. And moisture. Mmm. Yep. This is very delicious, guys.